Hey Cancer, welcome to your January 2022 uh, tarot reading. Um, in this reading, we will find out what's coming up for you for the month. Yeah, If you're interested uh, about your 2022 yearly tarot predictions, I've already posted them earlier this week, so you can check out my channel for that. All right. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. In this reading, I will be using my very own uh, Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot deck. Yeah, it's the limited edition. I have um, created this. Um, if you want to check that out, uh, the link will be in the description box below to my Etsy shop. Or you can follow me in Instagram. Um, you can DM me for queries or the link of the shop will also be in my Instagram. So check that out. At Nomad Soul Warrior. Okay. Um, if you get this deck, uh, the Divine Time book will come free, right? With the purchase of the deck. It's really good, especially if you want to learn more how to read the tarot. Because the characters in the deck will be the characters that um, in my book. So that's the best way to start it. You know? Read it as if it is a simple story. All right, Cancer. Let's get on with your reading. January 2022 for Cancer in life, in love, and everything in between. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. First card out. Page of Wands. I love it. Strength. Eight of Swords. The Chariot. The Emperor. The Knight of Pentacles. Mm. The Sun. Okay. Six of Cups. Queen of Swords. Mm. The Four of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords and the King of Wands. I love it. <laughs> King of Swords and the King of Wands. Oh my God, that's the best combination for success. <laughs> okay. I mean, in the initial part. Yeah. But at the end of it, you would need the King of Pentacles. Yeah. To get things done. <laughs> All right. Um, four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Cancer. Um, well, 2021 hasn't been very tough. Yeah, perhaps things may have um, uh, progressed slowly as um, as much as you expected it to. So it could be progress in in your work, progress in your love life. There seem to be a lot of delays. Yeah, if you were trying to close a deal, there could have been a lot of delays. Um, at work, if you have been trying to look for a job or if you have been trying to see how you could progress in your current work, it seems like there's been some form of delay. Yeah, but still, you're holding the ground. Yeah, it seems like um, you probably are still working, but the progress, it's not really happening as, as you want it to and the speed that you want it to, right? But I still see that you are... Um, very much in a grounded position yeah you're not floating you're not you know you're not you're not in a messy situation basically um, but with that slowness yeah somehow you are beginning to you know the slowness would feel like it's almost going to be heading towards a stagnant phase right whether it be in relationship or love and 
you're probably wondering, is there still going to be better options out there, better jobs out there, better opportunities, better investments, you know, that would come your way? It seems like things are not very clear for you right now. Yeah, you couldn't see how things could progress because of that slowness or, you know, the opportunities were not really coming in as fast as, as, as it would, um, as it should, right? And January 2022, I see that um, you might get into a lot of thinking, thinking things through, yeah? thinking about the possibilities, thinking about um, your current situation, as well as for some of you, you would even start to doubt would there still be a chance for things to progress in your life? Would there be, still be a chance for you to find another person to love, another person to be with? Or, you know, there's a lot of, of doubts occurring. All right, so you are encouraged, yeah? Even though you might feel that way, you are encouraged here to for the month, yeah? You are encouraged to stay strong, to... Um, continue to be as diligent as you would to continue to put in the discipline yeah in your life so for example even if you're just trying to let's say get healthy or lose weight or whatever that endeavor that would be for you if you think that you have done everything and you're still not losing weight that's a very exa simple example um, the message here is to carry on with that discipline and see it with a different light in a different light so Basically, whatever this is, life or love, yeah, it's more about whatever you have started on or whatever you are holding on right now, um, there is a calling here for you to maintain the discipline that you already have. If you don't have that discipline, if you don't have the routine to carry out um, your day-to-day -day activities, it's time to create one, yeah, one that you would enjoy, create that routine that you would enjoy. Um, but basically, maintain the discipline because that's the key element, yeah? A key element for you to, to, um, to progress this month, yeah? The more you maintain the groundedness, the more you maintain the, the dis discipline and self-control, yeah, within you, the more you would be uh, bringing yourself to a point where you would be able to see more opportunities, yeah? What do I mean by that? Um, it's more about getting out of your head, yeah? Stop thinking about all the doubts, all the future that are still not here. What you have is now, right? What you have is now. And the now, the only thing that you can do is to focus on things that you can control. And controlling things, con I mean, things that you can control, you need constant um, you need discipline, yeah, for things that you can control, that means let's say for example, in that diet example, so stop overthinking about when you can um, lose the weight or when the scales would be friendly for you but it's more about what you can control now so what you can control is maybe the eating habits or maybe the activities that you have you know that you are doing so things that you can control is putting into the routines that could make you happy meaning things that are not so restrictive but rather things that are still enjoyable for you to do so perhaps choosing or eating healthy uh, rather than um, junk or unhealthy foods and try to see to it to do it like you know consistently yeah consistently and make sure that you are not really restricting yourself like all together you know all at once when I say that things that you still enjoy doing make sure that you are still comfortable with it so that it makes um, so that that routine will be sustainable for you in the long run make sense um, that's one example. 
another message I'm getting for you is to be encouraged to um, if old habits you know old habits die hard right um, in relationships this can also be thinking about the relationships that did not really work well for you even if they were toxic for some you would still think about those things especially or those type of relationships with those people even if um, they no longer serve your um, your best purpose this time right so the message here is that you are encouraged to um, establish that self-control to um, try to only think of the reality of it reality of things and then um, embrace it until you're spent right embrace it until you're spent for some this could even be a calling to um, release do some rituals to to release old wounds release the past yeah let it go and be ready for new things to come your way yeah be excited for new things to come your way for new connections to come your way for new opportunities new job relations job connections to come your way yeah and um, that's the general for january if um, in terms of love in terms of love um if you are undecided especially for those of you who are coupled um, in, in a relationship right now and you know if things are, are going well for both of you but it would seem like you know things are not progressing and, and you wish that um, you know a decision can be made in order for both of you to really uh, progress it into a, a higher level let's say a commitment or to just improve the current situation that you're in um, in your love, I see that this would be you or your person um, in a better state right now, meaning in a in a better position to make a decision. So if you have been wondering when you can ask the question, when you can pop the question, or when you can have that discussion, the talk, right, and about the relationship that you have, I feel like this is the best time. Yeah, January would be the best time to talk it out. Yeah, to talk it out. Because I feel like there is an energy here in, in couples' love, couples' uh, love relationship that an energy of wanting to expand, wanting to grow together, and wanting to really make that decision, yeah, on, on a path that both parties can be comfortable in, in moving forward to. So that's a good thing, yeah. For those of you who are still connected with someone but um perhaps not really things are not really working out well um things are not really working out well for both of you meaning you might not be connecting you're disconnected right or you're not communicating as well um i feel like there is somebody who would be um there's an energy here of somebody wanting to fix things so it could be you or, or the person that you're dealing with yeah but there's somebody here who is still kind of um hooked in a situation and somebody who is still willing to fix things yeah and i feel that if things can be talked about um there is a possibility for both of you to really fix it yeah, if only a discussion can be made or can be have can can you have you can have right that's what i feel there is a person here who would somehow take the reins and and um want to re-engage and, and talk things out with you for some of you cancer i do feel that you would carry out this conversation and and tell this person out what you have in mind including what's in the future and then you will lay out you know your your um thoughts you will lay out your plans and see how would this person fit in yeah and whether they kn whether they could tell if they could fit in or not so that's that conversation could really lead to a very concise precise um decision making for both of you now if you're single ah, if you're a single cancer i see that um 
well, for the most part, I feel like somebody, um, if you're single and then, I don't know, I am getting that somebody is missing you. I don't know from where. If you're single, if you have no one, somebody is just missing you. Yeah. If not, this is you also really hoping to get that, um, to get that, uh, to get that romantic vibe this time. Yeah. I feel like you have been through a lot of phases in your life that, you know, your relationship to relationship and perhaps things were not really, I mean, you have completed relationships basically. And I feel like you are now at the stage of, um, looking out for a soulmate, right? Looking out for a soulmate. Um, for some of you, I'm getting that this would be somebody from the past that you have known, somebody that, um, yeah, somebody from the past will probably reach out to you, I feel. Um, but somehow you have outgrown this person. Yeah, you have outgrown this person. So let me know how that turns out. <laughs> let me know how that turns out. But for those of you who are not really connecting with anyone and really single, I feel like the soulmate that you have been waiting for is on the way. Yeah, Six of Cups actually the chariot six of cups is still um this is talking about you know um that soulmate card six of cups is another soulmate card yeah what is meant for you to have in this lifetime it will be gifted to you yeah and i feel like this is the time that it will come into your life so this is for your january month if you're asking when so check it out if it happens in january and let me know Okay, because that's how I see in the cards. And the thing is, this person, when, um, you know, you meet this person, it may not even be the, the your usual type. So not your usual go-to type if you have a type, right? So sometimes when the person comes in, giving them a chance would really open up to that opportunity of really knowing if this is a person that is meant to come your way this time around. And the soulmate that you are that we are all saying is sometimes we have to decide who our soulmate is going to be and i feel like this is your situation when the person comes in and this person is not really your type this is a person who would um somehow appear into your life and you get to make a decision whether is this going to be your next soulmate or not yeah perhaps the universe is giving you that option this time <laughs> that's what i see but ultimately, in, in a general sense, this um, reading is actually talking about you um, embracing the fact that 2022 is a year of celebration, is a year of um, getting to a point of independently enjoying what you have attained for, what you have attained in life. Yeah. So for some of you, really, I feel that this is a there could even be meeting a soulmate or um, or that person that's meant for you or getting to a point of stability. For some of you, it could even be that you will feel stable on your own. Yeah, your soulmate, at least if you're really on your own and you've made that decision to be on your own, then your soulmate is yourself right now, basically. You're focusing on yourself and you're getting to a point of just being stable, being happy at home, being on your own, yeah? And um, manifesting all the ways, yeah, that you can do to attain more stability in life, cultivating, nurturing what you want to do in life, what you have initially planned for. We have all pentacles here. So there are lots of plans underneath it all for some it could be that you plan it with uh, someone else with a partner for some it could even be plans on your own because we have two queens here yeah queens are very internal energy right and um yeah that's what i feel but in a general sense you know i'm i'm usually doing a lot of love readings here on my channel so in a general sense this is basically saying that this time is the time for you to meet that soulmate. Yeah, pop tower reading would say it that way. Six of cups, four of wands, 
the Emperor Chariot and the Queen of Pentacles. Pretty clear, right? Um, yeah, that's what I feel. And overall advice, I feel like um, in these cards, you know, if there are things that you are already getting tired of or getting sick on, whether it be your job, the partner, the relationship, or whatnot, you know, anything that you are losing interest on, time to let it go. And it's time to, um, you know, really think further on what you truly want moving forward, what you truly want in life, and speak about it, go for it. What you want. Yeah, and usually I feel like what you want here is really what's good for you and for the community or for your family, for for the people around you. But basically what's good for you and what you truly want, you go for it. Yeah, never mind so much about um, external energies. Yeah, that's the main advice here. It's more like what you want, plan for it. Make sure you have the better plan to get it to some form of, you know, um, completion phase. And then start working on it and going for it. Having that resolution perhaps in the beginning of the year would also be uh, very advantageous for, for you. I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my um, new tarot deck, the Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot, in my Etsy shop. The link is down below or follow me in Instagram. The link will also be there. You can message me um, in Instagram if there are any um, queries about the cards. All right. Be well.